Good morning. Welcome back into Wake Up America. I'm Rob Finnerty. We are continuing to cover the massive breaking news last night. Politico reporting that according to a leak, the Supreme Court is set to overturn the landmark 1973 ruling Roe versus Wade, polarizing the political world yet again. For reaction, I want to welcome in the first female combat veteran elected to the U.S. Senate and member of the House, uh, excuse me, Senate Armed Services Committee, Iowa Senator Joni Ernst. Uh, Senator, great to have you on this morning. We appreciate you being with us, especially with this news breaking last night. Um, I wanted to get your reaction to this news. We've been following it all morning long. This Politico leak suggesting the court's going to strike down Roe v. Wade in a 5-4 decision with with all three of the Trump appointees voting in favor of overturning this landmark ruling. What do you make of the leak and, and what we've learned over the last 10 hours? Well, yes, Rob, and this is a decision that we have been waiting on anxiously. However, this is not the way we anticipated we would hear the news. Uh, this leak is absolutely abhorrent. Um, so whoever has done this has really thrown our Supreme Court under the bus. Uh, but it, it's news that we will anticipate. I still believe the Supreme Court needs to go through its proper processes. This was just a draft opinion. I am adamantly pro-life. Um, it does not strike down abortion completely. It allows those state legislators to make those decisions for their own constituents in their own states. Um, however, we need a final uh, opinion coming from the Supreme Court, a final right. decision. And again, the leak, it is absolutely horrible that this has happened to such a stalwart institution in our government. Yeah, I want to talk about that. And Senator, we are working to uh, verify this Politico report, which mm -hmm. on a day when there's two primaries in Ohio and Indiana, it seems extremely political. But how big a problem is the actual leak itself, regardless of how you feel about Roe v. Wade? The leak is very detrimental. Of course, the Supreme Court is to move and make decisions free of public opinion. And unfortunately, what this has done is basically poison the well. So now you will have justices that are targeted by the public. Right. They will uh, be uh, targeted by, of course, we've already seen by elected officials. And it will be very difficult for them to move and think independently um, but I do pray that they are able to do that as they move through the final decision-making process. Um, so, again, the leak was absolutely horrible. It was abhorrent. It should never have happened. Um, I hope they can discover who did this and, and be brought out and, and uh, you know, held accountable for those actions. Um, but, unfortunately, those justices will now be operating under a lot of scrutiny right. that our justices should not have to operate under. Do you expect us to hear from Chief Justice John Roberts today uh, in regard to this leak? Uh, maybe they'll issue a statement or something like that? I don't know that they will. Um, if they do come forward, that's that's fine. But uh, again, we want them to operate independently. So I hope that they are able to, you know, regroup, reform, and continue working through the process as proper. Instead of being scrutinized, yelled down by um, the, the, the public. Uh, but again, uh, it's very, very unfortunate that this has happened to such an incredible institution yeah. and one that most people in the public respect. And there is no precedent for something like this. Senator, I'd like to shift to, uh, to George Orwell, 1984. He got it wrong by about mm -hmm. 40 years, it looks like. Maybe it'll be 2024 instead of 1984. But Nina Jankowitz, um, she would be the new director of this, uh, this disinformation governance board. She's been called the Mary Poppins of truth after her, uh, her TikTok video. She tweeted this out, and I, I wanted to get your reaction to just this, this whole thing. Um, she said, anyway, long story short, this is right when coronavirus hit us here in the U.S., March 2020. I think as a country, we might be too um, free-spirited, to put it diplomatically, to comply with social distancing recommendations unless they're forced upon us. So force anyway, lock us down. People are not taking this seriously. What do you make of Nina Jankowitz put in this type of position? And do you think that a, a board like this, a, a disinformation governance board, will ever actually come to pass? Rob, this is absolutely incredible 
what is going on? I, I woke up. I thought I was in the United States of America, not Russia or China. Right. And here we are with this, you're right, George Orwellian dystopia out there with this disinformation board, a board created by our federal government to ratchet down on free speech. Uh, again, I just can't even believe that this is happening in the United States of America. Certainly, I am going to continue to speak out as I want to speak out. I'll write what I want to write, and I am not going to allow some sort of federal government board to tell me what I can and cannot say. Uh, that is absolutely anti-American. So uh, I, I am so disappointed to see this, and I will be working with Senator Tom Cotton to defund this board to make sure it does not have the resources to move Senator, forward. Senator, please keep us posted on that. As we've learned over the last two years, what's true today might not necessarily be true tomorrow. Um, we right, appreciate Rob. your time. So nice having you on. Senator Joni Ernst, yeah, we appreciate thanks so it. much. You're welcome. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.